Hello, beekeepers! Why do I do this? It means all the beekeepers in the world. Do you remember the world? Uh, I'll, put a, I'll put a tag up so you can see that video. If you're a returning subscriber, leave a comment, you know, like, stuff like that. Today's video, we're talking about hive beetles. Now, in a previous video, I've referred to these things as Tasmanian devils from hell. I'll put another tag up. Wow, that's two tags already. I got three to go. Hey guys, if you're new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe. If you're old to this channel... <laughs> if you're old to this channel... <laughs> not if you're old, but if you're a returning subscriber. Leave a comment, you know, like, stuff like that. Hive beetles. These things are almost unstoppable. And why I say that is because these things can fly. Now, if you didn't know that hive beetles can fly, then uh, let me know in the comment. I'm sitting at my hive watching bees come in and out. And I watched a hive beetle fly into the hive. Not even like land on the board to be polite. It just flew right in. So these things are Tasmanian devils from hell. Now it's got to the point where every time I open my hive, the first thing I do is check for hive beetles as always. Where did these things even come from? These things came from the Sub-Saharan Africa. And moving all over the world, these beetles are the terrorist of the beehive. They're also blamed, if you didn't know, for colony collapse disorder. Collapsed colony disorder or something. Yeah, and it is a disorder because uh, there's no order in my colonies collapsing. I was reading a Wikipedia article to try to figure out where these things came from. And it's like California, Connecticut, uh, Texas, Virginia. And I was like, what states don't have these things? Because, I mean, half of the states were in there. So, yeah, these things are all over America. They've taken over. So what are these things? Well, they're pretty much just scavengers. What they do is they invade weaker or smaller hives. They love smelling that pollen and honey, and that's what draws them in. The bees have their lines of propolis on the top of the frames, and they corral the hive beetles into those tunnels. Well, so the bees are like, oh, wow, great, they... I actually uh, got them to stay away. Well, what those hive beetles are doing up in that corral is laying thousands of eggs. Each female lays thousands of eggs in the propolis. And as those hive beetles come out, they just terrorize the whole hive. As the larva hatches, they terrorize the whole hive. Yeah, these things are like rats or flying rats or because <laughs> they fly. <laughs> or uh, pigeons, because they lay so many eggs. This is like an L-O-E, like L-O-L, L-O-E, lots of eggs. And, and after these little, after these little larvae are released from these hive beetles, they just go and keep doing their mom's dirty work. Destroying honey, eating the bee bread, tearing through the wax they defecate in the honey if you're wondering why your honey is fermenting that is what's causing your honey to ferment is hive beetle hive beetle defecation in your honey if you know where these hive beetles live other than in the beehive like where they live other than the beehive let me know in the comments below how can i get rid of these tasmanian devils in my beehive well it's easy to get rid of them. Well, you can use beetle traps. Now these things, I've used them, they, they do work amazing. You fill them with oil. I use regular vegetable oil, put them in there, and as the bees chase them into the beetle traps, they drown in the oil. Another way to avoid getting hive beetles if, is to leave them in a sunny area. These hive beetles don't like overheating. They don't like the heat either, so if you leave your bees in a sunny area, the hive beetles don't like that. Also, you can use the same as mites, you could use a screen bottom board with a 
glue trap on the bottom. So you put your screen bottom board and glue traps. But just make sure you the bees can't get to there. And when the bees clean each other off, the mite or the the hive beetles and the mites fall off and get caught in the glue board. And the last method to avoid getting hive beetles is keep your colonies strong. If you have strong colonies, they will defend the hive and kill the hive beetles. So uh, that's it for this video. Don't forget to like, subscribe, leave comments, and I'll see you in the next video.